Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's. So thankful that God has allowed us to see 2022. So many great things coming into this year, even things from 2021 that I do plan on bringing into the new year. It's just a blessing to be here and a blessing to be alive. If you are new to my channel, my name is Shay. Welcome. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. This channel is basically like a platform for all my sisters that struggle with PCOS, which is very short for polycystic ovarian syndrome. It is a hormonal imbalance. It affects every one out of five women across the entire world. There are a lot of side effects, like a lot, a lot, a lot of side effects of PCOS, but something that I struggle with, one of my major side effects, which is hirsutism, and that's excessive facial hair and body hair in a male pattern all over a woman, caused by the hormone androgens that's in my blood system. For all my returning subscribers, hey sis, hey girl, welcome back. I'm so excited to be in the new year with you. Blessings, blessings, and more positive vibes, encouragement, inspiration, story times. I'm so excited about this year and for this channel. Great things to come. As I was thinking about what could I start off like the first video going into 2022, how could I encourage my sisters? I always, always think deep. I think hard. I meditate. I pray about how can I reach out to somebody who looks like me, but we'll probably never meet in life. But thankful for this platform of YouTube, you're able to watch my video, stay encouraged, be inspired, get some advice, just be lifted up in this world that is just so negative for women that look like us or go through the syndrome. It has just been a hurricane, hurricane PCOS hashtag. It's been real, but we can get through this hurricane, this tornado, this syndrome together. So that's why I'm here as your big sister on YouTube to keep you ladies encouraged. Last year I had like four notebooks, no lie, of like a whole bunch of different ideas because even like if I'm at home cooking or at the store or at work, I open up my notes in my phone. I'm trying to put, you know, different ideas that come in my head that I think about as far as different ideas that I have for my channel. So I was like, this year, I'm going to be a little bit more organized and get a journal. So as I was walking through the store trying to find a journal, this one stuck out to me because it said, be still. If you can't tell, I don't know what be still means. I don't know how to sit still. I don't know how to... I don't know what that means. So looking at this book, it said, be still. I said, hi book, I'm Shay. And then I opened the book and it has inspirational scriptures on every page. There's not many, there's not um, a lot of pages on here. So I'm gonna assume a hundred, but there's a Bible verse for every page. And I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because with hirsutism, with being diagnosed with PCOS, being still and getting up every day to stay encouraged, to not feel down about myself, not feel neg not to feel negative, not to dwell on something that happened a long time ago, not to dwell on I'm not married, I'm 30, I don't have any kids, I'm 30, I don't own my own house, I'm 30, I'm not in a career I really care for, I'm 30. I just literally, literally was like, I really need to put all my faith back into God, faith back into myself. Because I feel like there could be a slight difference. Like, yes, I pray, I meditate, I thank God for how he made me, but how can I say all these things, ask God for things that I want in my life, and I'm not believing in myself. I can advocate, I can preach to you guys, encourage you guys, but if I don't have faith in myself, what's the point? So if you follow me on Instagram, it's the same as my um, YouTube channel, Her Audacious Sister. Last week, I asked you guys, I kind of did like a poll, to go live every month on IG, and I don't know what the lives are gonna be, we got a total of 89, so whoop whoop. To do weekly motivations, on Instagram or YouTube. I should have kind of put more emphasis on that. We got 100% for that one. Dealing with mood swings um, and depression, we got 89%. Monthly full body skincare um, routines, 91%. 
Dating tips with hirsutism, we got 91%. Accessories with hirsutism, we got 96%. Healthy food slash snacks for PCOS, we got 97%. So you guys put me to work this year, but I'm so excited because I love challenges. I love having so much to do because I'm very good at breaking things down. For my um, job that I have, I'm in customer service. So even when it's like a lot of people asking me stuff or there's a lot of chaos, I know how to deal with the person in front of me or stay focused on them even when all the chaos around them is going on. I can still focus on you. So I'm very good at multitasking. So I'm very, very excited for these videos. I already have so many ideas. Whoop, whoop, your sister got you. Uh, the first note that I wrote down in my journal, I said, oh, excuse me. Let me, let me start from the top. So at the top, right up here, the verse is from Jeremiah 29, 11, my life verse. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When I say I opened this book journal and that's the first Bible verse, come on uh, giving me chills if God's not talking to me I'm deaf and mute and I don't understand like he's talking to me that's the first one the first one so I wrote I am beautiful and I kind of stopped there because I was like I really don't really know what else to say because even looking at that verse knowing that God has plans for my future I was like even right now I have a lot of days I don't feel beautiful a lot of days I kind of asked myself, you're going to do this every day the rest of your life. So granted, I am 30. I have not been dealing with hirsutism for 30 years. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's just say it's been nine years because I got diagnosed at 21. So it's been nine years I've been dealing with something. And if God allows me to see 30 plus <laughs> years on this earth, how much longer can I deal with this? Like how much longer... You know, am I going to try to be positive when, you know, the older I get? What if it gets worse? But listen to what I just said. I was saying if and what if and all these future, future, futuristic words. And it's like, I'm not living in the now. Right now, I feel like I'm confident with my skincare routine. Um, different things that I know I can, you know, eat and exercises that I feel like is overall helping my body improve. I just did a nighttime facial routine and I feel flawless. I feel like I have a glow. I feel amazing. And I literally, like I tell you guys, encourage you guys, like you literally have to take it one day at a time, one second at a time, one hour at a time, however long it takes you, but do it, do it at your pace. Do it at whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you feel like being the beer lady and you think your facial hair is beautiful, that's great because that's how you feel about yourself. And if you can't walk up there with confidence and not having all the umph that you felt, you know, in your room, listen to Pandora and jamming and go outside and you're like, you know, who's staring at me? Then that's just not going to help you overall because you, it has to literally start with you. So even when I wrote down, I am beautiful, the next thing I wrote down was what does beauty look like to me? Um, do I have role models? Who are my role models? Aging with time, how I deal with it. And then the last note I put was God's plan. I could have probably kept writing. I probably could have went over and over again with different things about the definition of beautiful. I've said this in a lot of my videos, probably every single one and a lot of my Instagram posts. I write the word uniquely beautiful. Alexa, what's the definition of beautiful? As an adjective, beautiful is usually defined as having beauty, possessing qualities that give great pleasure or satisfaction to see, hear, think about, etc., delighting the senses or mind. As a noun, beautiful is usually defined as the concept of beauty, usually preceded by the. As an interjection, beautiful is usually defined as wonderful, fantastic. Okay, so Alex... <coughs> So she <laughs> gave me the definition. I'm assuming that's on the internet. And even listening and hearing that, it's just like, 
it just still felt like the standard beautiful like the world sees you and like i said in my last video or two videos ago like to me barbie is the definition of perfect barbie is the definition of beautiful from her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet her whole body her whole appearance is on point and i'm just like i feel like that's the only thing that i could look at and say that's perfect that's beautiful because everything is intact everything looks a certain way now people are attracted to different people all lives all backgrounds of life shapes colors sizes ages genders all the above so in a way it's like you know what does beautiful mean to you what does beautiful mean to me my definition of beautiful may not be your definition of beautiful what i'm attracted to you may not be attracted to what I like and pleasure in myself, and I think, you know, I got, you know, hot girl summer coming. You may think I need a lot of work or I'm too confident or that's just not even attractive or appealing to you at all. But that's all right because you're seeing with your eyes something that you either like or don't like and I'm doing the same. But in a way, even when we walk around this world trying to figure out, you know, what makes me beautiful, what do I see is beautiful? I could look at an outfit, this is Shayla speaking, in the store and be like, wow, that's a nice outfit. I wonder if I had different angles, how could I post this on Instagram? Or I wonder if I went out to this certain part of the city and I went out with my friends, you know, how many people I would get their heads turning. Now, that may not be the proper way to buy outfits, but that's just kind of how I see stuff. In the same sense, I'm like, okay, is that dress going to give me some of uh, uh, shape? Is the low cut going to, you know, show that I haven't, you know, touched my chest since God knows when? Is it going to be too tight that if I'm in a room, I get too hot and sweaty? It's going to start from under my bosoms to my stomach to my back, looking like somebody poured water on my back and we just walked in a place. Am I going to get attention that way too? So it's like, you know, there's constant, constant battling with yourself, battling with what my natural beauty is to me, what I could accessorize with, if that's jewelry, makeup, outfits, being in a certain environment, you know, how I carry myself, I feel like is a very, very number one thing for being the definition of beautiful. So when I use the word being uniquely beautiful, I am uniquely beautiful because I think I am blah, blah, blah. In the comment section down below, I want you to write, I am uniquely beautiful because. Fill in whatever makes you feel that you are beautiful. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. The comment section is for me, it's for positive vibes. It's for encouraging, it's for uplifting. It doesn't matter. I am here to help you guys, keep you encouraged. And I feel like with this journal, with this book, a lot of stuff that I'm thinking, there's like thoughts always going through your mind, like good ideas. And then sometimes even when you write it down, you're like, I I said that? <laughs> Why did I write that? Like, that is not good. So it's like you give yourself a different perspective. Going into 2022, I believe that is a great positive journey to have about yourself. Like, I'm literally going to take the time to every day read a, a inspirational scripture that I feel like, you know, is talking to me, preaching to me, and then also to have a personal goal for myself. How I'm telling you guys live every second, minute, hour, day, week, month, year, to your timeline. That's what I have to do for myself every day. Because just the other day, I wanted to do this video, but then I was like, but then I was looking at other YouTubers and people on social media, and I'm like, dang, you know, they got these vision boards. Look at all the stuff that they're saying that they want to do in a year. And I'm just like, hirsutism. <laughs> <laughs> Which, in a way, it's okay because I'm Shay. I'm not them. So I cannot compare myself to them, their lifestyle. It doesn't even matter if we have the same lifestyle. We are not the same. God made me very, very different in my own way. There's nobody on the planet that looks, walks, talks, or just like me. So I kind of have to keep that at the front of my mind going into this year that, yes, I'll have goals and plans that I want to do for myself, but at the same time, be my own encourager, my own critic, and then just still living every day to the fullest because we are not promised to see tomorrow. 
nobody on this planet is promised to see the next day. So waking up every day, having the attitude of thanking God for allowing me to get up. But then when I go into the bathroom and see everything that I got to do, that's going to take me two hours before I go outside the door. Take your time. I, I made the time to do it. I made the time tonight to do this facial routine. I'm going to take the time to meal prep for work next week. I'm going to take the time to clean my house, to fold clothes. I'm going to take the time to leave an hour before I have to clock in because there might be traffic. I mean, everything we do in our lives is like time basis. As everybody knows, time does not wait, pause, blink for anybody. It continues, but we can make the best out of every second, every hour of our day. So I love you guys so much. So excited for this year with you guys. Please, if you have not already, like, comment, and subscribe. If I, not, if I did not get back with you um, in my DMs, please let me know if there's a video you would like me to do. I'm here for you guys. Literally, I am inspiring myself through you guys, asking what you would like me to talk about. Anything. I'm an open book if you can't tell already with my videos on YouTube. So I do hope everyone has had a great start to their year and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video.